Hey everyone, do it. Remember during quarantine when everyone was stuck inside and the YouTube algorithm was like, hey. Now that you're stuck inside, why don't you check out this 50 bajillion dollar house? Uh, and then everyone was like, yeah, we, um, we definitely need to raise taxes on bald people because they just got way too much cool stuff and we don't have any of that stuff. We need to tax them to f it. Let's eat them. Let's eat them. They've already eaten all the resources on earth. Maybe if we all collectively eat them, then we'll get some of that back. Regardless, I personally didn't move on from the guilty pleasure of, you know, looking at things that I can't afford. And instead of the 50 bajillion dollar home or the 72 million dollar apartments, I moved on to yachts. I wanna give a shout out to this guy, the yacht guy official. I burned a lot of time on this dude's channel. I'm just fascinated that billionaires, you know, take basically an entire mansion and put it on water. It's such a flex for so many reasons, one, you know, obviously you're taking a big ass house and you're putting it on water, but they could like kill people in there and maritime laws. Like it's cool. <laughs> no one can do anything. They could have a real life game of clue and kill someone with a candlestick and that's fine. Just throw them over. And if anyone has a problem, they can go over as well. So today I want to look at this 365 foot yacht, which is uh, absurd. You know, what is that? Like a third of a football field? Uh, let's do the math on that. Oh boy, I'm so wrong. It's a good thing I don't build rocket ships because I'm so wrong. Uh, it's it's about three times the length of a football field, right? 100 yards. So that's, um, um, hold on, let me back that up. I'm getting a little bit carried away here, but Google, Google why, why all this? Why is it another math problem to get the answer to a question like 100 yards between a goal? Just, I want in feet, man. Okay. All right. God damn, we have the answer. This yacht is a football field long. Really think about that, a football field. You know, there's definitely concession stands in here. So this is a football stadium on water. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. And we are here in Monaco at the 2019 Monaco Yacht Show. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of Lursen's latest TIS. 111 meters, 365.2 feet. Built in Germany. One of the most elegant yachts you're ever gonna see in your life. How you doing, Philip? Alex, good to see you. you again. They play that type of music on yachts because they don't need people talking over music. You know, there needs to be enough room for talking for the business. You know what I'm saying? That's when you get to a certain level of rich where you play music. You don't want to hear people yapping in the background because you got business to do on this boat. Guys, I'm telling you guys are in for a treat. This is an amazing boat. Probably something you're going to see once in your lifetime. So I'm very happy to be here with you guys. Well, that's on YouTube, man. I think we can see it twice. You know, this video is 17 minutes long. If we want to sit here for the next 30 minutes, we can watch Slash. it twice. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Alex, this is it. This is it. You see, Basie, and you get the feeling in here of you know an inviting home um you see those grand staircases inspiration by 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 louis Quinze. he calls this place inviting i think the only thing i feel invited to do here is steal something because i know one piece in here will probably sell for a good amount of money if i take anything here to the antique road show i'm halfway convinced eyes are gonna pop out and it's like surprise it's me the lamp from beauty and the beast i am too this is stunning i'm excited to look around and see more See the, the, the grand staircase is Alex here, um, leading up. Um, What's kind of crazy to me is I've only ever seen a hallway like this in a casino, or maybe like a Scooby-Doo episode, but I've never encountered this as a living space. This is a hallway where you would probably hang some fine art, right? Like a $17 million piece that you use to avoid taxes. Or if you were me, you know, for my yacht, I just put, you know, a steel poster of She-Hulk in the middle of that thing, courtesy of Displate, the sponsor of this video. Let me back up so you can really get the vibe. If you're wondering what a Displate is, it's a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. I'm not even gonna go over the rest of the benefits. I'm gonna let She-Hulk tell you. What's up, brother? She-Hulk here. Just wanna let you know over at Displate, they got 1.4 million designs created by artists around the globe, available in all possible areas. Manga, sports, history, comics, nature, movies, and more. They got super fast delivery, the art is printed on demand, and each display is signed by the master of production. Thank you so much, She-Hulk. You know what else is cool? Every time you buy a display, they plant one tree. So while you contribute to the aesthetic of your room or your yacht, 
They contribute to the environment. Personally, me, I love designing my living spaces with women that could beat my ass. So if you want to get a dope piece of art in the fashion of this, you know, sturdy steel poster, uh, click the link in my description. Plus, if you click the link in my description, you'll get 34% off the entire site. It's a site-wide discount of 34%. It's pretty crazy. This thing is super light, and it's got a dope, easy magnet mounting system, so you don't got to mess around with the drill and all that. It's idiot-proof. So if you're interested in that, click the link in my description, you know, get some dope art for your room. I'm going to put She-Hulk in the background here, and we check out the rest of this yacht. Love you. The design form from the saloon is being picked up. We are now in the formal dining. It's a great atmosphere uh, in here. I did, when you ever, whenever you see a long dining table like this, I mean, maybe one of you, I don't know, you live on some estate in New York or something, but I've never eaten at a table like this, and I've only seen people eat at tables like this in films before they decide to execute like an entire town of people. I only have dark thoughts when I see a table like this, so... It's wild to me that this is just in this dude's water house. We see the owner's office, um, nice little touch there. Fumes, lit fumes, creating that cozy atmosphere. Lit fumes from intruders trying to enter this boat. We, I can't do his accent, but you know damn well there's a streaker from a football game that ran into that boat and they just, maritime laws bruh, maritime laws. And they just cozied the whole place up by burning his bones right there. Small little detail, but you may not have noticed the secret door, secret door into the office space. They had uh, behind separate exits, so the office can be closed off, full privacy for the owner. I like that. <laughs> Do you see his discomfort? He's a, the yacht guy said, I'm not going in there. Look at that, look at that. For the owner. I like that. I like that. For someone else, not for me. And next up is a fully custom made wine cellar. <laughs> wine cellar. Bro, that's a wine store. You got a whole winery concession stand in your football stadium. That's a, a few are quite gone. Imagine you guys might have had a little bit of a party. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. That tells you the dimension of this boat that he thought he could keep going. He didn't think there was an end. He just, oh, my bad. This actually stops. That's crazy. <laughs> I love how that was it. That was just it. Yeah, there's 215 bottles of wine in here. Anyway. Here we're entering into the owner's deck. Okay. We're taking a step down. We're creating an extra 20 centimeters of deck height. Uh, extra 20 centimeters of what? Oh, de right. Deck height. My bad. I'm sorry. I thought you guys had other capabilities on this boat. Well, you know, I noticed the floors feel great on my feet. Really warm. Are these heated? They are heated um, on 1,600 square meters of owners and guest area. Oh man, shout out Poseidon's lair. That guy was living real luxury. It not only stretches uh, forward with a large um, uh, window front, but also Alex, let me point out to you here, check out this skylight um, that actually lets you watch the stars at, at night. That is so dope. <laughs> I want to be critical, but all I'm, I'm filled with jealousy. That is so, that's so sick. It must be so nice to just, you know, go upstairs, heated tiles all the way to your bed, lay down on your back and look at the stars. And just think about that streaker you killed right there on the front of the boat. We're stepping out. Um, we have a look at the um, helipad, fully certified. Um, D12 uh, value, um, 3,000. Um, that is the richest flash. ever. To be like, I have a vehicle that can house more vehicles. And I just take my vehicles around wherever I go. So you can not only land it here, you can fuel it up. Yeah, and then to, to basically make it even better, this is helipad number one. We've got a second one uh, for storage purposes as well. Of course, man, of course. You thought we were gonna have a football field with just one helipad? Oh. <laughs> nah, bro. We got two. Read it and weep. <laughs> Pilot takes the helicopter and stores it right on the sun deck aft, so the visibility of the owner um, is not conflicted. That's great because I don't think my viewers would have, any, have it any other way. All right. Shout out to the yacht guy for trying to make a bit right there. You know, all my viewers wouldn't have it any other way. They wouldn't want their view obstructed. And that dude is probably just so deep into the world of money that there was no joke there. He's like, oh yeah, my viewers wouldn't have it any other way. He's like, yes, of course. Oh, your joke? Oh. 
Sorry. You see the upper upper saloon, um, you open those doors and you have a feeling of a massive saloon that is on the interior but extends to the exterior as well. This is climate controlled so you get air conditioning uh, with it as well. <laughs> I got AC out on the saloon deck of this thing. So in case the breeze in the middle of the Bahamas was just a little too warm, that's cool man. We'll change the weather for you. <laughs> So fucking wild. But this deck is, is, is quite interesting because you, you can convert it. Um, the owner uh, actually uses it as a party deck. You see the provisions for the poles. Um, you can have your sun um, awnings here. He also uses it as a cinema. Um, so behind you, if you look aft, he puts a five by five meter screen, puts a projector here and has movie time with his, with his family. <laughs> I love how he describes it. Like, is this like endearing thing? Oh. The billionaire sits here and he watches a movie with his family. Isn't that comforting? Doesn't that make you feel good knowing that billionaires, they watch movies too? Um, 180 degrees, this is where you will spend time um, when going places. And you can just imagine sitting here, zipping on a drink while watching whales passing by a glacier. You can really imagine spending a bit of time. Did you guys hear that? That's, that's so special. The billionaire likes to take his boat up north and watch a whale swim by a glacier and he can watch the glaciers that he is melting from his oil and gas company how how sweet is that he just he has to watch the world burn in both places on land and on sea and, and i noticed the floors even in here are heated well, I told you, marble floors, wherever there's marble floors, underfloor heating. So, of course, that applies to the elevator as well. Right. Have a seat, I and I take you right down. I think I'll do that. <laughs> you know that seat is only for sucking penis, man. <laughs> you know. Have a seat. Give daddy some of that. <laughs> Nasty. See you guys downstairs. About to leave. All right. <laughs> Billionaire getting domed off on all five floors right during that montage. Well, we're now in the heart of the of the yacht. We're in the engine room, um, and we've got uh, two engines producing 4,500 uh, horsepower in here. This Slush. literally has two rocket ships inside it. 4,500 horsepower. Let's let's look something up real quick. Okay, not quite, not quite. <laughs> this dude has eight Bugattis worth of speed on this boat. So the most important question I'm sure everybody wants to know is. When you're driving, do you really guys really bump up the music? Well, we do have some music on here, but there's, as you can see, there's uh, speakers, but there's also these ears listening to everything we do. Oh, all right, never mind then. So I understand that, right, you don't bump up the music. Uh, we, we have some music. <laughs> Yo, man. That just goes to show you, billionaires ensure productivity in all places, all the way down to the people working in their cubicles. They record their screens. They even record their own yacht crew. They want to make sure nobody is having fun besides them. Only the billionaire gets to have fun. Just me. No one else. Um, I'm sorry, bro. Did you steal this design from Poseidon's lair? Fucking biter. Other than this thing being objectively ridiculous, you know, I think it's easy when you look at rich people's stuff and a lot of their design and luxury choices seem odd. You're like, why, why do you want these weird chairs and couches and like the design and everything looks, I don't know, at least in my experience, it always looks like slush. But then you got to remember that these billionaires literally dedicated their lives to dominating the world. So when they're like, you know, 60 or whatever age they are with this much money, their concept of luxury is so stale. And I think that's the saddest part of the whole thing. They got a billion dollars and I didn't see one gaming PC in there. This is the most boring boat you could have 365 feet and all you got is heated tiles. That sh stinks, bro. Not a basketball court. You didn't even have a personalized arcade in there. You don't even have a big buck hunter cabinet. Waste of money. This is 365 feet of jack sh to do. It is literally 365 feet of your grandma's house. I should have known from the outset that initial living room should have told us this place is boring. Billionaire, if you're watching this, I know you have money. You could put some way dope in there, some way cooler. A strip club? Why don't you incorporate a strip club in there? Let performers from all over 
helicopter in, you know, and perform their numbers. All that money and the best thing you can do is watch Inception on the roof of your boat, stupid. You could have a dancer fly in from Van Nuys, California, and she'd probably do a couple custom dances for you. But you're missing out on that. Because why? You want to drink one of your 200 bottles of wine? That's the best you could come up with? There should be an ecstasy dispenser. There should be a water fountain. And when, when the yacht guy went to drink it, the guy goes, uh, uh, that's Molly water. You can't, you can't drink that. It's just crazy to me that they amass so much money and they have so little creativity. Miniature Coliseum, let people fight to the death for a million dollars. Like, come on, man, do something cool other than marble. Oh, that's all rich people want is through history and time, marble and pillars. That's all they do with their money. They get a ton of money and they just get a big ass marble pillar thing and they put a bathtub in the middle of it and that's it i know everyone watching this has at least a fifty thousand dollar idea that is cooler than anything on that boat indoor surf pool archery range axe throwing i mean fuck it man just put a whole brewery in there bro put a whole brewery in there and pack it full of nerds who want to play pinball games even that would be cool just and this is our resident uh uh Brewery. We have various Redditors from all over the world uh, staying here and playing pinball and drinking IPAs. The creators of this boat are German and there is not one nightclub in there. Shame. There's not one BDSM sex dungeon in there. Miss. What'd you have Germans make this boat for? For no reason at all. Not even one leather mask. Nothing. Just, oh, we got the cool engine in here. Who gives a fuck? man where can i get tied up in this bitch maybe the difference is man is that when you get this much money you don't need to buy simulators and all because that that's for lesser people that's for poor people racing simulators flying simulators you know places to surf they just go do those things they just go actually fly a plane and actually drive a car and you know i don't know actually buy a basketball team so maybe that's the beautiful message in all this is that when you have a billion dollars there's nothing left to have because you can just go do all this shit, and then when you come home it's like there's nothing just marble floors big thank you to Displate for sponsoring this video shout out to she hulk by the way i hope you enjoyed that um and i'll see you on the next video later hey, just play, man. I had to switch it up yeah, might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck yeah, no.